All right, welcome to the first ever rest day ride. Uh, this is uh, John from Hash Brown Home Gym. If this is your first time to this channel, usually we do fitness and stuff, but uh, I recently got a one wheel and it's kind of taken over my rest days. So this has been the, um, this is the first ride that we took it out on here in Clearwater. This is called the Ream Wilson Trail. So you can uh, Google that guy, I'll put the name up there. And then uh, this was like probably like our fourth day of having the one wheel. So I had just gotten comfortable enough to really like kick up, level it out and just start going. And we were like, hey, let's go try this thing out. So we looked up a trail and most people go to the Pinellas Trail, which is over by the beach. And we were like, nah, everybody's going to be there. So we picked this trail. And of course, everybody was here too. But this thing is so nimble. Like, you just see me, like, swerving around people, swerving around rails, crossing streets. Like, it's it's super nimble. It just goes everywhere. And so this is, again, like, my fourth day riding it, I think. And you can see I look pretty comfortable on it. Like, I would recommend pretty much everybody get one of these. Just, you know, bottom line of this whole video, you, you should go get a one wheel. But, uh, yeah, so my rest days, right? I, I, I usually, like, ride my bike or do something else, go for a walk maybe. And I thought... Hey, let's see how this goes. See if you can break a sweat doing this. And since it's like a million degrees in Florida, you can definitely break a sweat doing this. So, you know, there's that fun fact. But yeah, so a lot of this is just me trying to like learn how to balance on it. You can see I'm not really comfortable with the camera just yet. Uh, I've got my GoPro here filming it. And I barely got my, I barely have the board in the shot right now. Wow. Wow, John. Good job. This is quality content or, or, or sick content, right? Hashtag sick content. So, oh man, this jogger guy, right? So this, see that guy that just turned right up there, that stop sign? Speaking of which, stop signs don't apply to one wheels in case you didn't know, you just watch me like roll right on through this guy right here. But uh, this jogger guy I'm about to come up and pass, we must have passed him like three times trying to park. Like we caught a light he caught up to us, we passed him again, we caught another light, he caught up to us, then we finally got to the parking lot, and we didn't see him anymore, and then we started coming back this way down the trail, and I was like, hey, that's that same jogger guy. So that jogger guy was, oh, he's about to get past, oh, he's so about to get past. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Boom, passing you jogger guy. Later. So you see the um, the fields there that, that are on the other side of the trail. Those are actually the spring, uh, sorry, the spring training fields for the Philadelphia Phillies. They come down here every spring. So they were down here right before all that uh, fun quarantine stuff happened. And we actually got to go to a game because my little brother is a bat boy for them, or he was. Um, you know, since they're not here anymore, he doesn't really do anything with them. But yeah, that's that's a cool little thing we have down here with us. and. So you can skate right along the side, or as you see Megan there riding the bike right along the side here, and check out the fields, come check out a practice, pretty easy. And um, yeah, just cruising down here. You can see I get like little wobbles, little shakes in here. And that was one of the things I wasn't sure that I was gonna be comfortable with when I bought this one wheel pint. Oh yeah, look at that little wobble right there. Look at that guy over all these cracks. Because I was uh, reading up that the XR, the larger version of the one wheel, is a little bit sturdier and handles these bumps a little bit better. But the one wheel pint was, one, it was more in my price range, and two, it was just uh, a little bit more compact, a little lighter, it's got that cool mag handle on the side. So it just kind of fit my needs a little better. And I'm kind of surprised like how well it does actually handle the bumps, the, the machinery or the, uh, the computer inside of it's super smart. So it knows it's kind of like uneasy or, or unlevel and it actually helps you kind of balance it back out. It's not too unsettling when it kind of rocks to one side, especially if it rocks more towards your toe side, cause it's real easy to just kind of push your heel down and level it back out. Well, going underneath the highway here to the left, there's some, uh, some railroad tracks right there and one of my goals is to take this guy out and try and ride along one of the rails of the railroad track. Don't don't tell anyone, right? Since this is on the internet, no one will ever find out. I love the little detail of the one wheel, uh, the one wheel insignia right there inside the wheel. 
and I love shooting it this 24 frames a second so it looks like it's like skipping all over the place it's I don't know something about that's just it's just nice oh speed wobbles watch out man I didn't remember this ride being quite so wobbly with this being like the first day we took it out on the real trail we still have it in the first or the slowest setting which is called redwood so I think our top speed that it allows us to do is only like 10 or 12 miles an hour and I think on this ride I averaged like eight or nine and at the time that felt like I was flying right like we were so uncomfortable first starting out if you didn't catch the unboxing video I'll put it up in the corner right here uh, go watch that but you can see my first attempt at even trying to kick up on this thing I, I was so nervous I couldn't even tilt it to get it to level um, even knowing it wouldn't like fall over it was gonna support me and all that stuff I was so nervous but we were riding around and we were like celebrating like all right three miles an hour yeah you're doing it because uh, the app tells you exactly how fast you're going like to the tenth of a mile per hour so like at one point I think I hit like 9.3 miles per hour and then on the app it shows your high speed for this trip was this fast and uh, anyways so we were riding on the first day and just cruising at a whopping four miles an hour like I think that I could pretty much run backwards faster than that one uh, one thing about this trail that's really cool that of course I'm not showing you right now because I'm too obsessed with the way the pint looks is there's like two or three disc golf courses that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, here we go, let me show you. So here's the first one and it is massive. Like it goes all the way around here. You'll see we'll cross over a bridge and then it expands even over to the other side of the street. It's huge compared to the one that we did know about. There you go. Look at all them disc golfers. Ah yeah, take a seat, take a seat. I know you're just so amazed by my one wheel. You'll, so you notice I'm riding in my Reebok Nanos. These are like my everyday shoes, uh, specifically the Nano 9. These are like my everyday shoes and these have become my favorite shoes to ride in because they are just comfortable. Like there's just enough padding where you can feel the vibration still but you don't feel like you're in Vans. Like the first day I rode in Vans, I could feel every little bump and vibration and it, the foot fatigue set in super fast. So I decided to put on my trainers and this absorbed a lot of the shock as well as still kept me in a pretty flat shoe so I could still feel what was going on with the board without feeling like it was too cushy. You know what I mean? Oh, speed wobbles. I guess they're not really speed wobbles. I'm just hitting cracks and I'm not used to riding. I'm just a noob. Man, I love the way that fender looks. That green is so sweet. <laughs> Look at that, you see the little nicks on there. So we have definitely rolled this thing more than a few times, um, jumping off of it or, you know, Megan has ridden it a couple times, gotten a little nervous and uh, had to bail. And it just like, it just topples over on its side. It, it won't like stand up on its own, of course. Uh, you know, we don't need T1000s rising up already. 2020 has been crazy enough without that. But yeah, so it just topples over and then you're gonna get dings, you're gonna get scratches. A lot of people really swear by getting some, um, Rail guards? Oh yeah, I definitely almost fell right there. Yeah, I'm laughing at myself. Yeah, a lot of people swear by getting rail guards. I mean, I think the rails are gonna get scratched up anyways, and personally, most of the rail guards I've seen, they look kinda cheap. I haven't tried any of the like float life ones or the craft and ride stuff that look like they're a little bit more specific to the pint, but the one wheel ones, they looked like they just tried to take the XR ones and slap them on the pint, and the pint is made so differently. It's got like the rounded, the beveled edges, and, and it's just, I don't know, it's just too different to put the same thing on there. So this is where the trail gets a little bit more fun, right? It's, it's still kind of flat. I mean, we're in Florida, we're not gonna get too hilly, but once we cross over the next street, we actually start hitting some hills, and there's two um, 10 degree grade hills in there. And in the operator's manual, it said that you could do up to 15 degree grade hills in the, on the one wheel pint. And so I was like, oh man, I haven't taken any hills on this thing, like at all, like none. I've been riding around in my neighborhood, maybe going up my driveway, which is like a two degree incline, if even that, because I work out on it, so it's pretty flat. 
But, um, hey, trash can, looking good. And, uh, so these hills are, are sweet. I get a pretty good shot of uh, going down and up it so you can see, like, how steep the hill is and how close the nose and the tail get to it and how it's, like, not even struggling to carry me up the hill. Man, this is not a fast ride. Look at me, just, like, cruising along, staying slow. Oh, what up, jogger dude number two? Man, he matched his shoes. Check him out. So there you go. So we got another stop sign. Luckily, there were no cars coming. At this point, I still hadn't really mastered the simple stop, the simple, like, rock back and stop feature that's on here. And um, so I don't think... I, I don't know if I recorded the stop at the end of this ride, but, yeah, I was not good at that. And again, if you haven't seen that unboxing video, go check it out. You can watch me struggle with some simple stop. So here we go. So we're coming up on the first little hill. This one's not as steep, but it was like the first hill I've ever taken on this guy. And I was like, all right, how do we adjust our weight to make sure that we speed up this bad boy? Oh, watch out for the pine cones. Let me tell you, you get one of these things, everybody's going to give you looks. Everybody's going to give you looks. I got like five or six compliments on this thing. They had no idea what it was. Nobody stopped me, like, nobody stopped me to ask, but, like, riding by, people on their bikes, people running, people walking, like, what is that? And I was like, Google one wheel. And they're like, yeah, I'm going to do it. Ah, man, took that hill with no problem. Like, you didn't even notice I was on a hill. Look at Megan struggling to get up it. I was trying to tell her how to shift her gears on her bike, and she's like, I don't know what that means. Which I thought was really funny. I'm going to do a review like a 50 mile review. I think we just passed 50 miles on the pint. So I'm gonna do a review of all the uh, pros and cons here of this guy now that I'm a little bit more comfortable on it. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be coming out real soon. Um, it's just becoming a bigger project than I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah, look at me. This is the first hill I've ever gone down. Look at how slow I'm going. Uh, <laughs> man, that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a review, like a 50 mile review on this guy and then see how like kind of how it lasts like 100 mile 200 miles all those milestones that you hit and see how it's holding up there you go so there's a sign right there it says 10 degree grade right there or 10 percent grade whatever it is oh yeah watch out for the bumps i was not trying to hit any bumps on this ride i was so scared to like fall Speaking of falling, you can't see it, but we always wear a helmet and wrist guards when we ride the pint. So if you get one, make sure you get that safety gear. All right, so here's the, here's the shot I was talking about. So you can see I'm staying level, but the hill is getting pretty steep. Stay on the trail. And the board is just keeping me level, keeping me at a steady pace. It's not like bombing a hill on a skateboard where you just have no control. If I lean back and keep the board level, I just keep it at like that five, six miles an hour, just feeling really comfy, not worrying about anybody, you know, coming in on me or anything, cutting me off, so that's good. And then this is where we took a break. I think like foot fatigue was setting in hard here. I think we did two miles in that time. And simple stop. Oh, hey, I did a good simple stop. Check that out. Hey, well, thanks for watching. That was uh, rest day ride number one. See you in the next one. Later.